I'm just saying, like, Bobby Flay would be really impressed the way I skinned that entire boss with one swig of my Final Fantasy Gunblade. And of course he's not dead, so now let's fight the boss again. Skinless Grandpa Puma Mutant! So... I don't know of a really good way to get Gunblade hits on this guy. We're just gonna do the best we can. Uh, we have to wait for him to kind of fall on us. He'll make a sound before he jumps at us. Oh, he came out of nowhere. Oh, we got him, but not with the, uh, not with the good hit. Oh, he got me. I'm, I'm convinced this monster actually teleports around the room, too. Oh, oh, I was so busy with the barrel, I didn't hear his sound effect for him to drop down on top of me. Yeah, I'm convinced that you chase... Chasing him doesn't do any good. I'm convinced that he actually does teleport around this room. Missed. No problem. Ooh. Ooh. Got a couple good swipes in there at him. There he is. I can't get the shotgun off though on him. Mm hmm. So the idea here is a player that uses up all the barrels on the first form of the boss is going to have a lot of difficulty on the second form because he has way more hit points this time. And he poisons you, and he attacks out of nowhere, and it's like impossible to keep track of him. I probably should have shotgun there, I might have got him. Uh, we better heal, actually. It's kind of coming down to the wire a little bit. The thing is, if you take time to heal, he, he drops on you. Like, I don't know if there's a way around that. Just the time it takes for Aya's healing spell to come out. Oh, I shotgun you, though. Yeah, we traded hits there, but I shotgun him, then I slashed at him. Might just do this boss the old-fashioned way. Might just nickel and dime him. Oh god, I had to reload. It's fine, though. It's fine. I am poisoned a little bit. Just a little bit poisoned. Oh, come on. I got him right in the butt there. Beautiful. I wonder if that 2700 hit would have killed him if I got it at the beginning of the fight, or if he's got more health than that. I mean, it feels like he's got more health than that if you're taking him down with a handgun, because you're popping him for like 20 or 30 damage at a time. I can't really remember a time in the game where Kyle was a jerk at all to Aya. Like, I, there's not a single scene in the game up to this point where I feel like Kyle was a jerk. Anyway. Let's eat that. We did, uh... We did get Kyle's handgun. Which is a pretty decent handgun. It's got a flashlight attached to it, which can blind enemies, which is nice. We're not using no handguns in this game. Also, there's a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Here? Big ol' motorcycle. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a gunblade holster. I should take that so I don't have to just walk around my gunblade out all the time. Extra switch. Let's blow it. Gate 2. Open it up. Uh... Well, that's silly, because I know we solved the electricity puzzle. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Okay, well, it looks like uh, Grandpa Puma severed the switch. So now we got to go back and solve the electricity puzzle again. Fortunately, the motorcycle has a uh, an extra spark plug. It's just a uh, plasma. Yup. Plasma beats bats every time. Remember that, guys. Remember that. I think that was the trigger to respawn all the monsters. So yeah, now, technically, if you were playing the real game, you'd go all the way back out and clear all the monsters out to get those bips and those experience points. Those beautiful, beautiful experience points. I'm not super worried about that, though, because I am all-powerful. Uh-oh. The gate lamp is out. The short is triggered with automatic safety shutdown. And the wiring map is different, magically, because adventure game logic. Okay, well, let's take the, uh... Let's take our plug back. So, the automatic line that was powering gate 2 has been severed. So, we need to put pins in such a way that we can open both gates without using the automatic uh, switcher. So, we'll trace gate 2 first. It's going to come over to the left. It's going to jump here. It's going to jump here. It's going to come back to the right. It's going to hop down. It's going to hop down again. It's going to hop up. It's going to go up here, make the little U-turn up top here and then down and then down so we should put a pin right here but in order to get to gate two we gotta go through gate one so gate one is gonna go to the left it's gonna hop it's gonna come down here up and around it's gonna make this little Z bend right there up to the top down to the middle back up to the top so if we put one in the top don't examine it yes a plug would fit in the hole put a plug in the hole and that should be switch on. Yes. Glorious. So now the gate's open. Let's get out of here. Let's see what is next in this horrible, horrible abandoned mine shaft. Zombies, I'm betting. Zombie vampires. Where zombie vampires? So, motorcycle. That unlocked the door to their gates, and the gate itself is open. And now we're somewhere new. What is this place? Uh oh. Get down to the ground and stay there, please. Ooh! Haha, -ha, yes. We're gonna... Uh, we don't need these firefly rounds. Sweet. New belt pouch. Let's pop that real quick. Nice. So, some of these things I can just move over. So, let's, first, let's move this... So we have a couple slots, a couple of them belt pouches we popped on, and this penicillin, I think, in case we have to, oh, it doesn't cure silence. Silence is the only thing I'm worried about, because silence uh, means I can't use my healing power. If I have to get into a situation in the battle where I need to heal, I won't be able to. Well, we're definitely not in the mines anymore. Down the lift. That's what they're called in the U.S. Lifts. Not elevators. We don't call them elevators here. Okay, well this must be the shelter at long last that we were discussing with Kyle when we first met. I mean, he's dead now, so no big deal, right? Nice bench. Looks very comfy. Oh, never mind. It's a smoker bench. Well, let's start popping doors. Did I pass the door in that hallway? Oh, it's locked. That's right. Door? Elevator is locked. How about this door? Uh-oh. 
Oh, these are little bastards that go down into the grates. Yeah, you know how what we're Oh this no it's not. These are little rats. Yeah, we'll just plasma the rats. And we got turrets up above the door. That's how we take care of turrets. Technically, we should be actually be taking care of them with a the shotgun from across the hallway. Would be much safer, because then we wouldn't have gotten lasered. Storeroom. That sounds promising. More rats. Oh, I remember these bastards. It's been a minute since I've seen one of them. But yeah, they were in Acropolis Tower. Now there's... Where, where are you at? There we are. Lay down, son! Beautiful. Alright, well we've got more human mutants in here then. Door. Won't open. How lucky for us. No power to the freeze. Lots of empty petri dishes inside. Mmm. Petri dishes are hilari hilarious. Not hilarious. I was going to say delicious. I guess it would be hilarious to eat the contents of a petri dish. It's from a broken freezer. These are the little bastards that go down into the grates. Yeah, we're not even going to play with these fools. We're going to just... Combust. They electrocute you, then they go back down into, and they silence me. Damn it. That's what I was worried about. And when they go down un beneath the floorboards down there, we can't hit them anymore. Alright, we got both the turrets down before they lasered me. Beautiful. I'll know to combust the next group of floor slimes, though. We'll make sure to do that. Sleeping quarters? Look at, look at this. Look at this. This is the entry to the room. This is your entire range of what you can see when you come into this room. Alright, well, there's lots of rats in here. Let's go in here first. No rats in the shower. The shower is rat free. I don't want to walk too far in there and get eaten by rats. I don't know why I can't hit those ones. It looks like I have a straight shot to them. They're probably hidden, like, partially behind a shelf or one of those beds. These are beds. Yes, yeah, these are bunks. There's a bunk bed here. Pool and Bowman. Kaminsky and Yoshida. These are the evil people that run this joint, I bet. A network terminal. We should place a minesweeper. Oh, the network cables aren't working. No minesweeper for us. Okay. Oh, this big fat dude was in Acropolis Tower, too. Not for long. Oh, machine gun on the wall. Nope, that machine gun gotta go. Well, I want the machine gun to go, but... And machine gun. Okay, good. Whew. She wouldn't target that machine gun. She wanted to target the big fat dude, which I guess I don't blame her. When you see a gargantuan scab walking around the map. That's pretty unsettling. Well, here's the exit. So, exit is it sounds like a good idea right now. I feel like we've uh pressed our luck enough. Oh, did we just walk full circle? We did. We just opened up a shortcut. That'll take us back to the mine. Well, we don't need to go back to the mine, do we? Nah. Let's worry about all these doors next time because we got a lot of places to explore here in the shelter 
Sterilization room. That seems like a nice, safe place to go. Hmm. Entering level 3 toxic microorganism hot zone. But I've got those, like, those magic mitochondria, right? I got the nanomachine craziness going on. So I should be perfectly fine going in there. Control panel. Mm-hmm. System stop, lock released. Lab safety level acceptable. Perfect. So even without m magic mitochondria, we should be safe to go in here. Oh, nice. And this room has both a box and a telephone, which is good, because the telephone is exactly what we need in our life. That's right, Baldwin. I finally found a phone that was not made by Asteroid Bell. If you believe that. Of course he believes it. Why would I lie to Baldwin? I'll be honest, I kind of don't even remember who Baldwin is. I'll see you guys next time. Shoutouts to Curtis Montgomery, who sponsored this video, and to everyone who makes this channel possible by supporting me on Patreon.